This is an operating systems question based upon process synchronization. We have been given three threads or you can say processes T1, T2 and T3 which are executing on a single processor. They are synchronized using three binary semaphores S1, S2 and S3 respectively. They can be acted upon using the standard wait or signal or you can say P and V operations and they can be context switched at any point of time. These are those three processes they are talking about with their critical sections. We need to determine the initial values of the semaphores S1, S2 and S3 which would enable us to get this particular sequence as the output of these three processes. Now let us assume the initial value of all of them to be set as 0. Then we can see if it is possible or we need to change it. This is the first character B which we need as our output. So let's look at the processes now. We can number those lines as 1, 2, 3 and 4 in all the processes. And now in which of these processes can we print a B over here in the process T2. So we try to print that. We get ahead of line 1. Line one. Now coming at line 2 we cannot get past of that since the value of S1 we have assumed is 0. So we are struck over here currently. Let us look at the concurrent execution which might continue. Over here we can also get ahead of line 1 but here we will get struck since initial value of S3 we have assumed is 0. Looking at here line 1 of process T3 yes we can get ahead of that but again we shall get struck at line 2 because we have assumed all of them to be 0. So in order to get ahead we need at least one of them to be set as 1. Now which one of them should be set as 1? Looking at the output, B is the one which we need to print first. So let us set the value of semaphore S1 to be 1. Then we can wait upon that. Then we can print B and we can raise the signal for S3. After which the line 2 of this process P1 can execute successfully and we can print a C. We can raise a signal for S2 after which this line will be executed successfully in the process T3. So that we can print an A later and we can raise a signal for S1. After which we can again come on process T2 and execute this line and then the cycle continues. So BCA, BCA will be printed in the cyclic manner. That is the required output we are having and hence the values of the semaphores S1, S2 and S3 we use this 1, 0 and 0 that would enable us to print the given output out of this. So the answer is C.